YouTubies! What's up? It's DeQuante. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the post notification button. It'll let you know if I have a video posted. YouTubies, what's good? Today is Thursday, May... <laughs> no. Today is Wednesday, July 31st. And I just got back from the barbershop. Faded, 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 faded. I know. It's not washed or styled just yet, but you get the picture, duh. Enrique's appointment was right after mine, so he's on his way home now. Today we are going to start packing for Miami. <laughs> we are leaving to Miami on Friday. So we figured we'd just start packing and getting our outfits together today. Answer a few questions and do a little talking while we're doing it. Just to give y'all a little vloggy vlog for Friday. And then the next vlog after that is going to be the Miami vlog. So stay tuned. If you're not an official YouTuber, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button and you'll be part of the team. You'll be a YouTuber. What you waiting for? Oh yeah, I also wanted to say, like, y'all showed up and showed out in the comments of my last video. Like, letting me know that y'all are watching and that y'all enjoy my vlogs. It felt so good, and I really do appreciate it so much. I appreciate all the YouTubies out there, all the future YouTubies. I really do appreciate y'all. I thank y'all. What's up, YouTube? All right, so Enrique is home. What's well, poppin', YouTube? What's good? How y'all doing? <laughs> that's your YouTube voice? Well, that, that's not <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I itinerary on the screen. Friday, August 2nd, Alex and Ari are gonna arrive at 9.23 a.m. They're lucky they got them a early flight so they can enjoy Miami for like a full day on Friday. And then we're gonna have breakfast at Fiari Cafe. Never been there, never heard of it. But if it's on the itinerary, I'm pretty sure it's good. Then Tao Spa Miami, two o'clock PM. Oh, they got a little spa day. This is not including me and Enrique yet. <laughs> So then we, they check into the Airbnb and then Enrique and I arrive at around 4.30 p.m. And then we're gonna do dinner at Crazy About You. Again, I have not looked these places up. The only place on this itinerary that I picked was the birthday dinner on Sunday and that's at Sea Spice. I'm looking forward to that. It's like this restaurant on the water they have like boats that dock nearby i think that's pretty cool and i think on sundays it turned into like a sunday fun day club restaurant type vibe so looking forward to that friday night we're going to miss mr jones at midnight i looked it up on tiktok it looks pretty fun saturday august 3rd we're doing breakfast at bistro cafe 9 a.m we're going on a yacht from noon to 4 p.m. Then we're gonna head home, take a nap, and then Kiki on the river. I think, I never, no, I never been there. I never heard of it either. Story, I seen that on TikTok. It looked like it was live and a good time. Sunday, brunch at Little Hen. Alex said that's really good. I've been to Miami maybe four or five times and I haven't been to any of these places. Nikki Beach, I think that's where they do like the drag show. That should be funny. That's at 2 p.m. Airbnb, take a nap. And then a dinner at Sea Spice. And then later that night we hit Wynwood for a night on town. Must check out Gramps. I'm not sure what that is either. Monday, we are headed back to the crib. So, looks like a very eventful weekend. I'm gonna go and check out all these places that I'm saying I haven't been to. And, 
you know just get a better look at the menus and stuff like that but it looks like it's going to be a lot of like clubbing eating i think nikki beach is actually on the beach but if not we definitely need to squeeze some beach time into here because i do want to just like be on the beach and like chill for a little while catch some sun it would be nice to get a sunset because miami sunset is insane like i honestly like miami sunset more than la sunset although la has the mountains and that looks cool but miami sunset is like so many different colors and it's just so vivid like i love it so let's see if we can make some outfits for these different things So Friday night, I was thinking of wearing these pants. I tried them on. I mean, I wish they were a little longer, but they're honestly fine. I really like how they look. But it's so funny because like this little fringe part on the side kind of makes me feel like a damn majorette or something. But it's still cute. And then I'm gonna pair it with this shirt it's like a distressed shirt from Zara I love how it fit it's sleeveless I'm gonna have some silver jewelry and I think I'm gonna wear the white cowboy boots like I tried it on and I think that it looks really good together and then that's Friday night let's ask Enrique a question before I go to Saturday. Dun, 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 dun. Describe your ideal date night. My ideal date night. What's my ideal date night? Cause I just feel like every time we go out, we have a good time. Um, I would say doing some type of activity. Like, I like when we like are doing like something whether that's like chilling on the beach and just like taking in the sun and dancing and vibing, chilling, or like even when we go out to dinner, like like I, I don't know, it's hard to say because like we'll do something and then it will lead to us doing something else. Yeah. So I, I feel that. like I like the idea of us like just doing something, doing shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like we just. <laughs> We have a good time, like like we'll go to like for example, we could go to say we go to dinner, then after dinner it's like oh let's let's go to a lookout or something. Like, yeah, um, we were spontaneous. Right. Sometimes. So basically, anywhere with me is basically. a good date. <laughs> <laughs> How do y'all pack? Do you like put all your like pants together and then shirts together, or do you put like your outfits together? I think I like putting outfits together. It just gives me a visual of it being all together. And yeah. And then also, I know people roll their clothes up. I'm more of like a folder. I don't need them to be too wrinkled. All right. So Saturday morning is a little brunch. And then we head to the boat around noon till four. So I'm thinking whatever we wear to breakfast we're probably going to wear on the boat so for that i am going with i believe i'm going to wear this set i think yeah it feels so good like i wish i can feel it and it has like this water paint type design to it like water paint where's the top Hold up, I lost the top. All right, so here's the top. I, th I think I'm gonna wear this with gold jewelry and some black glasses, some white socks, and some white shoes. And I think that's gonna be my yacht fit. 
Yeah, I think so. And then I'm just gonna bring these swimming trunks, y'all. Like I was going back and forth about buying swimming trunks because I have like these are the only like <laughs> I'm gonna say masculine swim trunks. My other swim trunks are like really tight. You gonna see some balls. You gonna see some ass. So I think this is like Miami around friends like chilling i think i can be mad like i don't i don't want to bring out the 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 the, the tight the tighties so i'm gonna bring these and they've been doing their thing i really like them i mean they are they fit really good they're h and m you know classic little stripes that's fine but that's like if i get in like when i get in the water but this is going to be like just like pictures wear this until i get inside some water so yeah that is for saturday morning slash evening all right baby you gotta pick a question for me to answer We can both answer it. Maybe I'm gonna answer first. Are you gonna choose something else? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of like the the card game we played. They said that it was that one of them? I think so. The question is, what is one thing that I appreciate about Enrique? Hmm. I appreciate that Enrique is hmm. how do I describe it you can say more than one thing okay <laughs> <laughs> so what do I appreciate most about Enrique I appreciate that I don't know he just makes me feel like just like I'm human and like he reminds me to just let myself be and to also let others be. He, I don't want to say simple. He's not simple. He, <laughs> but he, I don't know. He moves through life with just like no weight on his shoulders. And, that's, and if he does, he doesn't like really show it a lot. But it's, in, it's inspiring to see just how light he is. Because, you know, I've been through a lot and I carry a lot, but he's someone that just doesn't let it get to him for too long. And I can appreciate that because it just reminds me to just be in the moment, let things go, and enjoy life. Oh, you said that so well. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Thank you, baby. <laughs> All right, moving on to Saturday night. So we're going to Kiki on the River at 10.30 and then Story at midnight. So for this night, I think I'm going to wear, y'all, when I say I love, 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 love these hands. Like, I hate this boxer attachment that they put in here, but these pants fit so well. Oh my god. Oh, that's the flare ones. Yes. Oh yeah, them sits. They, they are. They were some good ass jeans. They are. Like, they was they was down bad. They was down bad for putting Thankfully, these boxers. Took, took that in though. Right. 
but I can tuck these little boxer things in and I might even cut it I don't know but you can just tuck them in and you don't see them at all but they fit so good they're not like super super flared to where it's like dragging on the ground but they are flared and baggy but they're like cinched at the waist what waist and then I'm gonna pair that with this brown. It's kind of oversized a little bit. And I kind of wish it was a little crop. I'm sexy, all my clothes are crop. But it's okay. So I really do like these two together. It's just like simple and elevated. And then I'm gonna wear, oh. I'm gonna wear this piece of jewelry with it. Enrique got me this. When'd you get me this? For my birthday or for, what was this for? I think it was for your birthday. Yeah, it was for your birthday. Was it? Cause I think I gave it to you when I came in October. When I uh, came for the uh, like four or five days. Yeah. So I, I honestly have not been wearing it that much and he thinks I don't <laughs> like it or something or maybe like, you know, I just, he don't like it. I do love it, I swear. But with this, like just under there, just like a little peak of it, it like, it sums the outfit up. Like definitely a, a timeless piece that you can pretty much wear with anything because it's so colorful, but I'm definitely gonna wear it with this with some more silver jewelry and shoes i'm gonna wear my patent leather chunky loafers and yeah that's gonna be my saturday night fit we're gonna be too elevated for miami i ain't gonna lie <laughs> like I don't, I don't know how they gonna look in the story or wherever they at but we gonna be looked at like they won't be able to keep their eyes off of us yeah we dressing down yeah all right before I move on to, to Sunday, cause Sunday it gets a little tricky cause I don't think I have enough clothes. <laughs> but let's talk a little bit about, just a little update about social media as a couple. So I know all y'all want us to create a couples channel and it's not a bad idea. Like sometimes I'd be like, that would be our ticket to like skyrocket. But at the same time, I enjoy my independence when it comes to my art. So like, I don't want to wait on Enrique to edit or I don't want him to like, not like the way I edit something or think he can edit it a different way. So like, I think having our own channels allows us to just express our, our artistry in different ways i think that's the most important thing for me what would you yeah. say no, I feel the same exact way. yeah i just feel like you know i feel like we're creative in our own way like we have different like visions of how we want our videos to be and yeah what we film and all that right when we film because sometimes i don't even be wanting to like film <laughs> <laughs> that's another thing sometimes just getting those moves where i just don't feel like recording yeah and then sometimes i am right but i just feel like you know i feel like it's our own independence like we are we we have our own autonomy yeah Ooh, okay, autonomy right Ooh. i live yeah. <laughs> i used to have those moments where it's like I would edit a vlog and then I would need to like start another vlog and I'm like I don't have it in me to even want to be talking to the camera and thinking about uploading and cutting and adding effects again like huh but now like I'm just like in my vlog spirit and I'm just like <laughs> it needs to get done like it's gonna get done I enjoy it it's fun this is the only way to like grow is to put out these videos so it's definitely quality over quantity but at the same time like i'm with the shits so i love that right and it's like, i enjoy it yeah. I, like, I enjoy it a lot because yeah. i've always wanted, wanted to, yeah. to be a youtuber like I, I grew up watching youtube right it's just like you know i feel, and, like, I feel like everybody had their moments where they don't 
feel like recording, but I do feel that like I I do enjoy it. I'll be paying, you know, and I am consistent. I just don't record as often. Yeah. Ooh, and they be coming for you too. Right. They be like, where the Q and A? Where this at? Where that? Where that? <laughs> but I'm gonna let y'all know one thing. Let me zoom in. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know one thing. What's that? I'm gonna always do it the fuck I wanna do. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, for real. Um, aside from the you know creative differences, um, what else? Yeah, I mean that's that's about it. Like, there's nothing funny or crazy going on on our social medias that we're not comfortable talking about to each other. Like, there's no second life or nothing like that. Like, people respect our boundaries and respect us as a couple. Like, people haven't been, like, shooting a shot or anything like that. I mean, they like their pictures and don't follow. And then like pictures. <laughs> they do that. I guess that's y'all way of flirting, but... They're, they're a low-key way of flirting. Yeah, but other than that, like, it's fine. Sometimes, whenever somebody I follow likes Enrique's stuff way too much, I'm like, boy, like, I follow you and you liking my man's stuff for what? Like, I don't know about that. Right, I just feel like we, I feel like we all know, like this day and time, like we all know the how it is with the the dating scene. It's like it's everything is social media now. We all know that when you like a whole bunch of pics on somebody's page, yes, yeah. that's, that's basically you shooting your shot, right? Or trying to you know start something, yeah. So people be trying to play dumb. Like they be trying it. Yeah, they be trying. No, this. Let me stop. <laughs> beep 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 yeah so i mean in the future there may be a couple channel i don't know 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 and then it's like if we ever do decide that it's like figuring out how that's going to work like having our own channels in that right because like we already live together so how are we going to record for our own or like unless we did it we would probably have to dedicate like one week just for the couple the couple channel, channel. another week yeah to our own channel i guess yeah that's i mean that's difficult yeah but it, it maybe like maybe if, it, if it's like a trip or something like maybe our day-to-day -day lives can be on our own separate channels but if it's a trip then we can make it a joint effort to edit oh, and so film. I mean, yeah, that would work too. Yeah, like sometimes you take the camera, say what you want to say, I'll take the camera, say what I want to say, and then we and both then we capture each other it, and then edit it together. So that's a, that, that's an idea. Right. We'll, we'll think about it. But no time soon. But no, <laughs> we, we gotta we gotta at least get the, I don't know. I don't have a We number. We just still trying to grow our own channel. Right, so it's all, it's a, it's all a process and it's gonna come together. So moving on to Sunday. So Sunday is the brunch at Little Hen at 11.30 a.m. And then Nikki Beats at 2 p.m. So I need to find something to wear for that morning. Ooh, I think it's gonna be another set. <laughs> Ready, set, go. And then all no, I thought she said the beach. Nikki Beach. Yeah. Yeah, so brunch and then Nikki Beach. Nikki Beach is like a, I think it's on the beach, but I think it's like an establishment that they have like chairs and stuff and they do the drag brunch, I think. Oh, I thought it was, oh. Let me make sure. I mean, I feel like that would still work though. Yeah, no, it would. I, I think so too. But I don't know why we going to, wait, let me see. Like, why are we going to brunch and then nikki beach when i think they have like unless unless it's something else that she know about that that's not brunch or something so nikki beach y'all this is nikki beach can you focus please focus 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 can you focus on there we me? go <laughs> so nikki beach looks to be like a beach club situation so it probably won't be food and stuff so okay we eat food and then we go drink and listen to music by the pool 
That's the vibes. Oh, okay. So yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah, that would work. Wait, which one? The um, I mean, either or, they both not like they both uh, not bad, but I feel like that uh, that cream with the the black design on the bottom. And then what shoes and what? Yeah, I'm thinking. No, I think I'm gonna wear. Yeah, you probably wanted to do that. I think I'm gonna do this one and then wear some more like white socks with some white shoes, yeah. and then silver jewelry. Maybe like a tank under it. Yeah. Yeah. And then some glasses. So tomorrow we're gonna have to like try and like so we can have like all our like. You might as well put some put some in there tonight. Yeah. True. I just gotta take something off the dryer. Uh, oh yeah, y'all laundry be ugh. Like we do laundry literally every day, and then the basket fills right back up the next day. All right, it's time for me to answer a question or ask a question. I got a question. I'm about to make him super uncomfortable, y'all. My question for you, Enrique, is: How do you handle disagreements? Discuss your approach to resolving conflicts and maintaining a healthy relationship. How do I handle disagreements? Um, I feel like I feel like when it's something like done against me or against me, I could be stubborn. Is that could that be? You think that's that's a good word for it? Stubborn? Yeah, stubborn, prideful. Prideful, no, that's that yeah, I could be very prideful. But um I would say, you know, I, I, I am good at like talking things out in communication. What'd you say? I feel like I am like I may not I don't know, I feel like we both like, we both good at communicating, but, like, we both also have a different way of, like, approaching things. Like, he'll, he'll he's good at apologizing right away. Me, I'll be prideful, and it's like, I'll, like, I don't know, I'll just be, I, I can't, I don't even know how to fucking <laughs> But I mean, let I me mean, let I me mean help him out a little bit. <laughs> he, I'm just very like I don't know I don't be but I like once I'm annoyed or irritated, I will be like oh big. But then I it's can't. Like I really just, just turn off. But I really can't even tell to be honest. Like I can't tell fully. But I can tell. But I can't tell fully. <laughs> Our disagreements don't last it don't be long. Crazy and yeah. It don't be like nothing like overboard to where it's like oh. Or, or. Most of the time it's me, y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm the one always starting some shit or like not letting something go or taking something personal. And my baby a little sensitive, <laughs> which is, which is fine. You know, it's just you know we both two different people. He I, I he a little sensitive to things. And I'm like very like like he said in the the first question. I just let shit slide. I wasn't always like that. Oh really? Mm mm. Oh, you gotta teach but me. But you ways. know what? Matter of fact, I was. It's just back then I used to just hide it. Mm. Now it's like it's not the same way anymore. I feel like I just like I truly just let that shit like. I really don't be giving a fuck. I don't know. I think it's that book I read. Which one? The right subtle art of not giving a fuck. Yeah. Oh, dang. literally. So if y'all, if y'all, I need to read the book. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start reading that one. Is that was that with a combination of just like, just, just self and like learning me and like doing research about just you know acceptance and letting go and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I feel like I'm like that. That's why I feel like. I just be letting shit slide. Like, I feel like I don't really, I'm not the type of person to really argue about anything or like be mad about anything unless I feel like something done to me. That's when, if I feel like something done to me or if I'm, something is done against me, then that's when it's like, all right, now I gotta 
flip. Yeah. <laughs> Marbles. <laughs> Me, I just, I just be, I, I be wanting to just talk about it and get a hug and move on. Yeah, I be all that, stubborn. I be like, <laughs> I be like, oh man, he got that, an attitude. Right, now I got an attitude. No, I got an attitude. <laughs> we just not talking. Like, no, I don't do that. Like, I. Yeah, he, he's good at like apologizing. He, he's good at like um, consoling me. Yeah, reassuring. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. We talked about that. Yeah. So yeah, no. If if just a, a tip for y'all that have a partner or you just want to resolve a disagreement, the best way to do it is sit close to each other, look each other in the eye, explain how you feel, but in a loving and compassionate way, and keep in mind like the end result is to resolve the issue. It's not to prove anyone wrong or be right it's about just being heard and understanding people's feelings and trying to do better the next time around yes and take accountability take accountability apologize like it hurts you nothing to say sorry more than likely you'll get a sorry back if not you're dealing with an asshole right. <laughs> i feel so, like that's what like we both do that like what you just said we yeah. both always at the end of the day we always both say sorry. Sit down, yeah. talk, talk everything out, and like apologize for our own actions. Like, yeah. Every time. Right. And we never like raise our race at each other. We never disrespect each other. Right. That's where people get it fucked up. And yeah. y'all be sitting here cursing each other out, disrespecting each other. I wish the motherfucker would. Yeah. It's not worth it. That's like, toxic. It, right. And I don't be with that toxic shit. If you have to yell to get your point across to somebody, then. Yeah, that's draining. Yeah. It's all love over here. <laughs> all right, moving on to Sunday night. So y'all, Sunday night, I ain't got shit. I ain't gonna lie. So it is a all white event or all white coordination type thing. I bought this, I bought, I bought this nylon cropped button up and I give it like a 4.5 out of 10. I don't really love it. And Enrique, what that, what that damn blazer? What blazer? The blazer you oh, wearing. Oh, blazer I got is an Y'all watch this shit. Cause why, why would he ever shit on me like this? On the bottom. Oh, is that for? Y'all look at this blazer. So like I, I didn't I honestly didn't get the memo. I was like, I'ma just wear some jeans and a white type shirt, but look at this. Get into the details. Like why would he ever do me like this? Look, the little silver buckle, like he about to go for a fucking flight. Red carpet. <laughs> I mean, but it is like a part of my birthday celebration. You okay? You right? So I was like, let me step out. I didn't see. I wasn't thinking like that. I'm like, man, I'm alone for the ride. Like, yeah, but it's his birthday, so he needs to be blazered up. It's not really white, but. You get the picture, duh. These websites need to stop saying that. Yeah, the website said it was white, but this is definitely like a cream, maybe egg. They be maybe... calling it off white. Oh, that's what they said. Like on some of the, uh, some of the like. Oh, so it actually said off white. Some of the clothes, it be saying off white. But this one. That didn't say nothing. Oh, okay. It just, it didn't even say the color. But I yeah, it was white. it's super cute. I can't wait to see him in it. He still need to find some bottoms though, so. <laughs> well, I might, I might order that shit off Fashion Nova. Oh, you say you gonna order something from Fashion Nova? Hell yeah, you look. Oh. Um, but for me, y'all, uh, I don't. I basically don't have. I think I'm gonna wear those white cowboy boots with whatever I decide to wear. All you need is just white bottoms too, right? 
If I decide to wear, I, I guess I'll wear that shirt. That wasn't a, you didn't like it? I gave it a 4.5 out of 10. Oh, what you feel like? What, what, what about it's it? just, I don't know. It's regular. Yeah, it just oh. feels regular. I don't feel like it's giving nothing. But maybe once I get like the bottoms and and like dress it up maybe with some jewelry or something. Yeah, maybe. Or like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it, y'all. I'm sorry. To be determined. And Sunday night. Let's go to the drawing boards. So yeah, I just thought about it. Like the dinner is at 9.30, so we probably won't go back to the Airbnb to change, to go out. So whatever I wear to dinner is what I'm gonna wear out Sunday night. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. This is supposed to be packed with us, but Enrique's working on his vlog and he's not quite packed yet, or packing. But, you know, he participated in the questions and I appreciate that. Let's answer one more question before we go. Oh, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. One more question, y'all. And I got this little bag for like the beach day but yeah what what are our shared goals for the future or what are some shared goals that we have we have so many shared goals like for one growing on youtube that's a goal that we share next would be getting a dog i can't wait for that one that's a goal that we share um, moving into uh, another apartment, preferably a one or two bedroom. Traveling, conjoining our families, starting our own families. Starting acting class. Starting acting classes. Which is actually what we're gonna do when we get back. Yes, From so. Miami, we're gonna start looking. We've already we've already compiled a list, so we just have to call and find out what it takes to start to audit classes. But getting back into acting classes and doing more skits and stuff like that, because that is honestly the goal is to become an actor. Like I want to be on somebody's TV show or in somebody's movie. At the end of the day, I'm not I'm not gonna put a time limit on it, but that's the goal. And then also like brand trips and ah, just so many goals and just so much to look forward to. It's it's really exciting for real. And I think that's gonna be it, y'all. Like I am going to rearrange some of the stuff inside the suitcase and get my jewelry together but for the most part outfits check nails check check check, check. hair check all right so youtubies thank you all for tuning in my name is dequante me amo enrique <laughs> If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the post notification button. It'll let you know if I have a video posted. That's it. And we're going to see y'all in Miami. Hey. <laughs> Buenas noches. <laughs> <laughs> Nails, check. Hair, check. Face, 